What is up guys, this is Roller Gaming TV1 and I'm back with another Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.7.0 multiplayer news update video. So this update video is going to have lots of information because I have 27 tweets to show you guys and that is just a lot of information. So I'm just going to read them to you and I'm not going to be explaining it that much. I'm not going to like talk like for like five minutes on one tweet. I'm just going to read it and then like two words or something and then next tweet so and then I also have some like more info and I'm gonna be explaining to you guys how multiplayer will work by the information they have given us I'm gonna try to piece things together and tell you guys how it will basically work and everything and stuff like that so let's go ahead and get started with tweet number one will there be any specialties or completely new things added to 0.7.0 and Daniel first replies with there won't be much we're focusing on multiplayer features so there's only going to be multiplayer and the new options menu, that's what we know so far. So next tweet is, do you know if there will be a hardcore mode in Minecraft Pocket Edition? Daniel first replies with, hardcore PE isn't planned, do you want that? And it's not planned, but that made me change my mind when he's like said, you want that? So he might add it, he might not, you know, you never know. So next tweet, do we have to buy a PE account? And Daniel first replies with, no, you'll just get through it through a one-time registration in the game, so you do not have to buy any accounts or anything like that if you want to play on Pocket Edition servers. Next tweet, two people actually asked this to Daniel first, so how much will a Pocket Edition realm cost? And Daniel first rep replies with, cost isn't decided yet, but I want to learn what our costs are first. So he doesn't know yet either, so nobody knows how much it will cost. Next tweet is, will servers be hosted on my internet if I buy a server or somebody else? Daniel first replies with, buy us somewhere in data center in your proximity. So, probably be hosted on somewhere where we live, like on their servers or something. Next tweet, will we be able to pay for the server with an iTunes card? I'm curious to know, please respond. Daniel first replies with, you might, we'll start looking into that soon. So, maybe you could buy a server using in-app purchase inside the app itself. So, that would be great if we can do that so I can, like, easily buy a server and stuff. So, next tweet is, will there be player name tags? Yes, there will be player name tags. Next tweet, in online, I will can play on iOS with Android. Now, that tweet did not make sense to me, so I went ahead and translated it to on PE realms, will I be able to play with Android users if I am on iOS? Daniel first replies with yes. So if you are on iOS, you can play with Android, and if you are on Android, you can play with iOS. So that's gonna be cool. Next tweet, Chris MC Mine, he has a YouTube channel, asked Daniel Frisk, how will the skins feature work? The same like Xbox or PC? And Daniel first replies with unknown, but I prefer like PC. Which do you prefer? And if you guys don't know how switching skins on Xbox is, is you basically click pals and then you like go to skins and then you pick a skin right there inside the game. And that's just how Xbox does it. So next tweet, could you give me an estimate or the exact date of the of when it would be released Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.7.0? There are tweets about it in April. Daniel first replies with who said that the full thing isn't going to be ready then. We'll probably release parts. So now the tweet Johan said about it being released in April that's probably not gonna happen maybe it got pushed back I'll be talking about that more in the future of this video so don't miss out on that and next tweet what new features are going to are you going to add in pocket edition many will probably speed up the features when servers are in place so many features are gonna be added hopefully so next tweet when will Mojang add infinite rendering I know that occupies a lot of RAM, but map is too narrow. Daniel first replies with, I know, but infinite causes all kinds of problems. We'll probably go for a big enough instead. What he basically means is worlds, infinite worlds. Um, That's not going to happen, obviously, because it's just going to cause problems. So next tweet, is it possible to use a pre-existing single player world for it? And Daniel first replies with not yet, but I want to add that pretty soon. So if you want to start up a server, you cannot use a pre-existing single player world for it yet. In the future, yes. So next tweet, you added bucket. Daniel first replies with no. No buckets, guys. No buckets in 0.7.0. Next tweet, will there be an option to get a higher cap if you pay more? Daniel first replies with not initially. I want to keep it as simple as possible. So right now, the max cap of players can join is 10. So next tweet, so rooms would be... The online multiplayer solution for MCPE allow up to 10 players in one game. Will we need to pay extra for realms? 
Dynamic first replies with yes and yes. The real owner pays something for some period of time. Right now, I'm looking at month-based pricing. So you do need to pay if you want to post a server, but you will not need to pay if you're joining one. So next tweet, thanks. So subscription is needed. One more question: Will realm owners have to keep MCP running for invited players to play in realms? Daniel first replies with no. The owner can be offline and invited to still play. There is option for open close though, so you can be offline and people can still be playing on your server, just like PC. You can be offline and other people be playing on your server. Next tweet is, so at last, I have to pay to play rooms? I am very, very serious, so please reply. Daniel Frisk says, if you want to have your own room, yes. For playing, no. So, you do not have to pay if you are going to play online. Next tweet is, on the wiki, it says, Pocket Edition will require a Mojang account. Does this mean we have to pay £20 to continue playing? Daniel first replies with no, the Mojang account is free, so you do not have to, once again, you don't have to pay if you're gonna join a server, you do not have to pay. And going back to Johan's tweets, we have the next version of Pogged Edition will be, will be a little bit delayed, hoping for it to be released by the end of April. So now he's telling us the updates is gonna be released or submitted by the end of April, and hopefully come out by the end of April or probably next month or something, the month after April basically, so... And then he just explains why it's going to be delayed. So it was because we simply didn't have time to test the new changes and we also decided to make menus look better. So I'm just going to show you guys the work in progress of how the menus look like right now. Now these are obviously work in progress because they have work in progress written all over it. So these aren't going to be the finished look. These are just work in progresses. So I'm just going to show you them and here's how the manage server will look like where you can invite people. You can turn it on, you can turn it off, you can delete it, you can change the name of it basically and pretty much next picture we got the create new server or world for your server. You got the name, you got the seed, you got the start, you got game mode, creative or survival and it might change, it might stay the same because these are obviously once again work in progress. So next image is we have how the worlds will look like the world list and once again work in progress. So it's still cool so yeah, and then now to explain how multiplayer will work. So, from the information they have given us so far, I'm going to try to piece, the, I'm going to try to get on the information and piece them together to form a puzzle and tell you guys. So, you buy a server, if you're buying a server, you're obviously going to have to pay for it. If you're joining a server, you do not have to pay, you can just join, bam, you're in, that's it. If you're going to host a server, you have to pay. If you're going to join, you do not have to pay. And you do not have to buy a Mojang account. You do not have to buy a Minecraft account. It's free. You can just make it. And like they said, they're going to have a, something where you can register inside the app. So that's going to be simply easy for you guys to do and stuff like that. So once you got the server, you basically invite people. And then the people who are going to join, they're going to go into this menu where it has work in progress all over it. And then they're going to tap realms. You do not have to enter an IP or anything like that. And where they basically, when they when somebody invites you, the player that is going to be joining, the server is going to show up. So let's say, for example, let's say if I invited person A. And person A goes to his realms, that server is automatically going to show up. So you do not have to type in an IP or anything like that because that server is automatically going to show up. And let's say if I decided to remove person A, now that server is not going to show up for him anymore because I removed him from the whitelist. So that's basically how it's going to work. You just host a server, type in the people's name in the whitelist, and then their server, your server is automatically going to show up in their realms list. So that's going to be great. You do not have to type in IPs and stuff. So yeah, that's basically what I think, and if I'm right, then that's just going to be awesome. I was right, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please take two seconds of your life to click that like button. Subscribe if you guys want to stay updated for more Minecraft Pocket Edition news, and I will see you guys next video. Peace, guys.